Recently, I had an interesting chat with one of my colleagues where he said, you know, you actually configure the fabric only so many times, but then you spend way more time in operations. You are troubleshooting your network, you are monitoring it, you are replacing the faulty hardware, you are upgrading software, you're changing from one vendor to another, and these tasks consume way more time than the initial configuration tasks, and we sometimes call them day to plus operations. Now, I can say what that with some level of certainty, we figured out the initial configuration of the of the network. We have many tools ranging from basic CLI screen scraping automation towards declarative tools, or maybe just replacing the whole configuration with golden templates that we prepared, and of course, leveraging ZTP and all that good stuff. So the initial configuration is quite solved, and we know the that we have a lot of automation for these particular tasks. That is why it's commonly, uh, we, can, we can hear it quite a lot that CLI is dead. But this is mostly for the configuration tasks. Because when you move to the operational world, you still want to have a powerful CLI that gets you that gets you the information that you need at the troubleshooting hour, that allows you to swiftly inspect the data stores that your network operating system offers, that lets you fluently filter through the data that your network operating system provides. For these tasks, CLI is still pretty much the king. So CLI is dead, long live CLI. And that is why this, this episode, I want to talk about a particular CLI feature that we have in Astro Linux CLI that I think is quite nice. And I wanted you to, to know that better CLI exists, if you will. And I want to show you how it works, actually. So imagine I'm troubleshooting something, and I'm, I'm showing you the Astro Linux version 24.3.1, as you see on the screen. So what if I want to know the status of my interfaces? Like very, very basic stuff, right? I can just type show interface brief, and I get a list of all my interfaces on my on my data center lift switch. I have 30, 34 of them, and this particular show command shows me the admin state, upper state, speed, and the type. All right, now, what if I don't want to know the state of all the interfaces but the first five? And this is, this is something very common, because when, when you know your port allocation, you know... Um, you can filter down and remove the visual clutter by just filtering the interfaces that you are actually interested in. So what you can do with SR Linux CLI is that you can say show interface and then you can start putting the name of the interface and you have this nice suggestion box. But then if I only want to list five interfaces, I can use the ranges feature that follows the bash ranges syntax of course, we want to be as close to Linux as possible. And then I can type brief, and then voila, I have my five interfaces listed nicely in a table without the artifacts that would that I would have if I would just play if I would just use grep, because I still have the header of the table, it's all nicely formatted and all good. But I think what is missing here is the description. So this particular show command or show report, as we call it in SR Linux CLI land, does not show me the description of the link. And descriptions are important. Sometimes they are, they, they can, they have this information about the customer, the port attachment, and maybe some location information. So I would like to have it here in my, in my command. How do I do that? Because the show command is something that we ship with the NOS and although you can enhance it by using the uh, SR Linux CLI programmability, I want to show you another way how you can do that. Now, in SR Linux CLI, everything is sourced from the data stores. Everything is modeled with Yang, and everything is stored in the state and configuration data stores. So what I can do is that I can grab all the information from my state data store for the interfaces. So I can type info from state, interface, ethernet, and I do the same range expansion command, and look what I get. I have everything there is for the interfaces from the state data store, the statistics, uh, the uh, SFP information, the configuration parts, of course, the port, the speeds, and all that stuff. But I also get to see 
the descriptions of the links. So for example, for interface 1.3, there is a description leaf, green customer. I want to see that, but of course, in the midst of the troubleshooting, I don't want to browse this long list of data for all of my interfaces. What I can do instead is that I can apply a filter output modificator. With filter output uh, modificator, what I can do is that I can filter the fields that I want to see. So I can say I want to filter fields like upper state, and as you can see, um, I have the suggestions that, that help me understand which fields are available. I also want to see the admin state, and I want to see the description. So if I do that, look at this. The SRO Linux CLI will dump to me back the information that I requested, and it filtered only the fields that I've asked it to the upper state, the admin state, and the description. So for these five interfaces, and let's make it three because I only want to know about the three interfaces to keep it short, you can see that I have a red customer, a blue customer, and a green customer assigned to my different interfaces. This is sweet, but again, this is not visually appealing because I would like to have the table. Uh, as a human, I read tables far more efficient than just a, a list of text with, with curly bra brackets. Well, there is another output modifier that, that can format this for me as a table. So when I just say as table, the information that you previously saw in the Astro Linux CLI format is now nicely formatted as a table. And I can see what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the basic, uh, state information, operational state, and admin state for my interfaces, but I also wanted to see the description. And I can filter it out through the filter fields command, and I can specify which fields I want each interface to, to output, or which fields of the interfaces I want to see in my report, and then I can nicely format them as table. Okay, so this is cool. And this, this, this was already available in 23, what is quite interesting is that there was a tweet from me that explained how it all works in terms of screenshots. And then there was a gentleman who said, like, can I move the fields? Can I say that in my table I want the port speed to be the first or the description to go first and then the rest of the, of the information? And then I said, and it was January 23, well, not today, not today, because we, we didn't have that. But when I thought, I, I thought that this actually makes sense. Like, if we give the flexibility of filtering, why don't we give the flexibility of sorting the table or um, presenting the table in a way that a customer wants? Like, if it's all about the usability, why can't I say that I want the admin state to go first before the upper state? Maybe that's how you used to read the information from a different vendor. And if we provide the same customization or the same enhancement, you will have a better time working with the CLI. So let's see. Now in 24.3.1, you can use an order of the fields that you would like to be presented. And look at this. Now the admin state goes, goes first and the upper state follows. Exactly, use, exactly as you use these fields terms in the filter fields command. Now you have the flexibility of filtering the fields. It was like this since the inception of Linux, but now in 24.3, you can also choose which fields you want to be ordered in what way. So this is the, this little feature that I wanted to talk about, and we'll keep this episode short. Try it out. You know that you can run a Linux on any Linux machine using Container Lab. It's a freely distrib distributed container image. So go check it out, filter through the data stores, see how you can enhance your show commands by, by implementing those, those nice commands that allow you to filter the information that you care about. And I hope this will make your troubleshooting hours way shorter than they probably would be without it. Thank you, see you.